Tom's news to Steven right away. Don't just stand there. Go in and see if you can get a few more words out of them or something. Oh, you're right. I got too excited. Sorry. You did very well. If you don't mind, could you please go in for another test? <laughs> I've upgraded the simulated universe. It now has more memory and can support longer sessions. The last round must have been pretty boring. I'll get Steven to add a few more interesting things. <laughs> this part was made specifically with you in mind. Ready to have some fun? <laughs> What can I say? I don't trust it either. For some reason, whenever someone tells me they're gonna do something interesting, I end up imagining a pile of trash. So, I'd rather talk with you about the added rewards part. In a nutshell, this is a long scheduled version update with longer gameplay, more content, better rewards, and a more bizarre difficulty curve. So get ready and prepare to get back into the simulated universe. I'll help you out some more. Don't worry. So, have you thought things through? Then come with me. Dumbfounded. Yes, Pom Pom's talking to you. Himiko told Pom Pom about your situation. Now listen up. Pom Pom will only say this once. Pom Pom's sure there have been lots of people telling you how special you are lately. But this is the Astral Express, and everyone on here has their secrets. Since you can abide by the rules. You're not the only special one here. I'm Pom Pom, the conductor. Just come find me if you have any trouble. Here already? Hmm. I was just engaged. Trees. How can I help? Oh? Why are you interested in her room? Ah, Pom Pom remembers Himiko saying that you saved her. Mmm, very brave. Very foolhardy. But that is what a trailblazer should be like. March 7th's room is in the express sleeper compartment. She's always running around, so she might not be there. 
Dan Hong's room? Oh, you mean the archives. Uh, he's just sort of living in there, I guess. I can't be bothered getting him out. March 7th's room is right next to the archives. You can visit him on the way. You recognize this as well? Uh, Himako always likes to bring back weird junk and try to fix it. That also got modified a bit. Pom Pom still needs to prepare for the Express's warp jump. You can look around the place yourself. No matter where you go on this train, Pom Pom will always have my eyes on you. Oh, it's you. How do you feel? <laughs> Great. Looks like your stamina is really quite special. In any case, I have to thank you for saving March. It's good that you think so. <laughs> Someone with that mindset and the actions to back it up, that is the true meaning of the word hero. However, as long as the Stellaron is still in your body, you should be careful what you do. I don't know if Himiko and I can suppress it again, but I <laughs> won't bore you any longer. So much happened at the space station, you must be tired. There should be some time until the next warp jump, so Feel free to walk around and familiarize yourself with the environment. a lot. She says it can play melodies from the past. There seems to be the sound of electronic equipment. <laughs> Who's that? The door is not locked. Come in. Can I help you? Feel free. This is open to everyone on the Express. While many of the roads that Akivili traveled along no longer exist, I think it's still meaningful to record our adventures as current passengers of the Express. I enter the collected data into the Archives data bank. I try to catalog the people and places the Express encounters, and compare and contrast them with the existing records. Do you see the terminal over there? It can be used to view information already stored in the data bank. Do give it a go. unlocked. Should I go? Just one look should be fine, right?
Make a choice I won't regret. Reach the future. So much had happened in such a short time. Please gather at the... <sighs> you took long enough. But at least everyone's here now. He won't be here, so just leave him be. Oh yeah, take these. A tiny bonus from the conductor to the passenger. Think of it as an investment in your future growth. for the jump. Express. Eons. <sighs> Did I get dragged into a science fiction movie or something? This Stellaron thing in my body? Are you to the stars? <laughs> <sighs> I've done stuff like that before. But it wasn't stars for me, though. It was lights. When I first woke up after being rescued from the ice, I could see clusters of stars in front of me. I reached out for them automatically. But they turned out to be the carriage ceiling lights. The whole crew was watching me. It was pretty embarrassing. Drifting through space. Himeko and Mr. Yang and... Who was it again? Anyway, they figured out a way to melt the ice and saved me. Who knows? I don't remember anything before that. Who I am? Where I'm from? My name? It's like everything was erased from my mind. March 7th was the day they found me, so it stuck. Ever since then, I've been hanging out on this train and following it to whatever destination it decides to stop at. I'm hoping that one day, I can find my past. Uh, what am I talking about this for? 
A way to get everyone down, huh? It's fine. I was the one who brought it up. Uh. <laughs> Cheer up! It's not every day someone gets to ride on the Astral Express. Ah, here comes the conductor. The Express has reached a safe distance from the space station. We'll be jumping in about... 10 minutes. Return to your seats, please. Both of you! Things could get bumpy. Uh, thanks, Pom Pom. But did you really have to come and remind me? I'm not a newbie, you know. Well, it wouldn't be necessary, but Miss March 7th likes to challenge herself. And falls over every time. That's just called never giving up. <laughs> Conductor, can I get a juice, please? Thank you! Ugh, but I'm thirsty now! Hello? Hello, hello? <clears throat> All passengers, please return to your seats. The train is about to make the jump. Hold on, everyone. I won't fall over. I won't fall over. I won't fall over. Five, four, three, two, one. Millennia? Is this what Eurelo 6 has become? Uh-huh. So, that snowy planet is our destination this time? Yes. Looks like this trailblazing expedition won't be easy. Oh, spatial readout anomaly. Star rail stability is down to 12%. Schedule alteration. Seven-day stopover time extended indefinitely. The complex locality of this world has been affected somehow. The star rail has been blocked off by something. Take an ordinary train as an example. It's like the tracks up ahead have suddenly snapped, and the way forward leads straight into a collapsing abyss. The only sensible thing to do would be to break hard, right? If we try to force our way ahead, there could be a hefty price to pay. This again? Don't tell me. It's gotta be. The results of the preliminary analysis are here. The anomaly stems from a Stellaron, as always. Yes, just like the one that's been placed into your body. Stellarons are clouded in mystery. Even Herda isn't able to fully understand them. But there's no need to worry. This isn't the first time our route has been obstructed by a Stellaron. Even if we don't know much about them, at least we know how to neutralize their influences. The only thing we can say for sure is that their arrival causes massive changes to civilizations and ecosystems. They also generate distortions in space, such as fragmentums. There must be an inextricable connection between the Stellaron we're dealing with here and Eurelo 6 becoming a frozen planet. Our current theory is that Stellarons are seeds of disaster, planted by a certain eon throughout the universe. We can't continue to trailblaze without removing the source of the disaster. That we've got to get busy! I'd like to entrust this trailblazing expedition to March, Dan Hung, and you. The objective is clear. 
find the Stellaron responsible for the disaster and the spatial distortions, and bring it back to the Express. We'll deal with the rest. Awesome! We get to work as a team again! Someone has to stay on the train or Pom Pom will get lonely. Not to mention, Nanook threw us a glance just now. If we're targeted by the Antimatter Legion, then things could go south fast. So it's still not our turn. I know you really want to go, but we should give the youngsters a chance to get out there on their own. It'll be a good opportunity for them to bond. March, if you two are ready, why not go and find Dan Hung? He's probably already started collating the ecological data and survey results for Eurelo 6. It's always good to know more about the destination before you start a journey. 